Welcome to the community focus show. I was getting mixed up there on which show I was on. Unfortunately, John is not with us today, and uh, I hope you stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the next show. We're trying to find out some more conversation topics for anyone and uh, kind of come up with a mindful conversation or topics are perfect for deepening relationships and fostering meaningful discussions, whether you're with strangers, family members, romantic partners, or friends, old and new. And uh, there's a lot of questions here, so we'll, uh, we'll go to some of the questions that you can ask and... Uh, you can also, uh, maybe if you get into, uh, you can test yourself on these as well. So I hope I hope you enjoy the, the, the next uh, half an hour of me waffling on. And uh, I hope you get involved in it. And uh, number one of mindfulness conversations, what scent do you find more soothing? In my case, it's uh, lavender. I love the lavender. The lavender, uh, even in uh, the spray on the walls or the lavender uh, uh, stuff that you can get for the garden as well. Uh, the header stuff it's beautiful beautiful and it's a very very relaxing uh scent uh, you could be different at listening at home now and uh but we all have different smells that uh, relax us and things what language of love do you listen to it if you don't even speak it and understand it uh bill uh i suppose italian or french maybe french yeah but i also like the the new zealand uh lingo as well it's it's nice uh, oceans or mountains uh, which would you be uh, suit you the most the oceans looking into the oceans if you're on a boat or the mountains my case is the mountains because uh, you can see this you're in a beautiful place usually you're, you're out in the country a small bit and they're covered in ice and they're just totally relaxing and beautiful and uh, I prefer mountains rather than oceans describe the most captivating painting or artwork you've ever seen Unfortunately, I can't help you there because I'm not an arty person and I haven't seen much art. Uh, we were in France one time, Paul and myself, we never got into the, the Louvre to see uh, the Mona Lisa, which we should have really got into the got into the thing to see the Mona Lisa. But unfortunately, we didn't, you know. So uh, so next up, I was, remember the first novel you ever read? If so, what was it? Uh, the first novel I ever read was Robinson Crusoe. And uh, that was when I was very young. Unfortunately, uh, anyone that listens to my uh, radio shows would know I haven't read too many novels in my time, to my detriment. But uh, as I'm getting older now, maybe I start sitting down and do a bit more reading. Uh, what's your favourite thing about your personality? Uh, my favourite thing about my personality, well, it, most time we ask people that know us what's our favourite thing about our personalities. But... Uh, if not, uh, you depend on what other people think you are as well to, to give you a heads up on it. So my favourite thing about, well, I hope this is what people think of me, is my friendliness and uh, my kindness. That's what everyone wants to be uh, taught of. So that's the favourite thing about my uh, personality. If you could be a fictional superhero for, for a best friend, if you could have a fictional hero for a best friend, who would it be? Uh, well, that's, that's a tough one. I suppose Superman or Ryder Rovers. Roy the Rovers, I used to love that uh, comic when I was younger. Roy the Rovers is brilliant and he could score from anywhere. He was the greatest soccer player I've ever seen. And, uh, but I'd also like uh, Superman as well. He could bring you around. You wouldn't be getting Ryanair or anything but him. He'd bring you around to whatever country you wanted to go to. What colour would you choose to describe yourself? Well, my favourite colour is blue. I'm not blue in, in, in that doesn't mean I'm blue in man, manner, or, uh, but I'm blue. Uh, I love blue. And uh, I'm usually, anyone that knows me, I'm usually... Uh, Wearing blue in some form. What is something that you have accomplished as an adult that your younger self would be proud of? Well, one of the biggest things I've accomplished as an adult is what I'm doing now. I'm speaking on the radio chi into a microphone, which I would have never, my younger self would have never thought I would have done this. Uh, I, as a youngster, I was very quiet, uh, shyish as such. But uh, I'm grateful that uh, I got a chance on Limerick City Community Radio with all the rest of the gang, and this is one of the best things I've ever done. And I think I would be very proud of myself if I was younger. Is there a place in the world that you feel most represents who you are? Uh, well, hopefully Scandinavia, up around Norway, there with all the mountains and stuff and everything just uh, calm and relaxing. Uh, I hope that people think I would be that way, just calm, relaxing. That I'm not cold <laughs> because it's cold up there. But it's calm and relaxing, and uh, maybe that's what I hope people see me. Hopefully, they do. Where is one place that you'd love to travel to again? Uh, the place I'd love to travel to again is Pompeii in Naples, in Italy. 
It was absolutely brilliant, and I'd recommend it to anyone if you could afford to go over there. Absolutely brilliant. We were lucky we went on a cruise, lucky enough to get on a cruise. It was a lifetime journey, and uh, that's where we went. Uh, we were delighted to see Pompeii and the history there, and, and it's just the place itself is fantastic, and I would, uh, would recommend it to anyone. Uh, next question is, if your pet could talk, what would their voice sound like, and what would they say about you? Now, uh, I have two pets, two dogs. One is a girl and one is a boy. So I'd want, I presume one would have a high voice and the other would have a low voice. And uh, uh, what would they say about me? Well, hopefully they'd say that I was kind and a good uh, master for them. So I hope, hopefully that's what they think of me anyway. What does my name mean? No, I haven't a clue what my name means. I know it was a Bible name. My name is John. And uh, I wouldn't have a clue what it means. But uh, people out there listening might have some sort of a clue. And uh, look it up and see what your name actually means. What tasks make you feel like your best self? Uh, probably DIY, because I'm, I'm doing it at home. I wouldn't do it out, out anywhere else, because at least if I do it at home and I make a mistake, which I often do, like hanging doors and cupboards upside down and stuff, at least I can take them off and rectify them, rather than doing it in someone's house and not being able to rectify them, <laughs> you know. So that's it. So that would, uh, I presume it, people would have rowing as a uh, thing going on a river, walking. But that task, that, that's my favourite task. Where do you feel most centred and happy? I feel most centred and happy in my home, which I'm lucky uh, to be because of a fantastic wife and fantastic uh, kids. And uh, very good. And as I said, uh, that's everyone should feel uh, centred and happy in their house. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen a lot, a, a lot of times for people. But... Uh, if you can, enjoy your home. I know sometimes people are locked in behind doors and stuff and can't get out, but uh, we're lucky we come over around that you look forward to going home. The next question is, what's your favourite comfort food? My favourite comfort food was uh, chocolate back in the day. But unfortunately, I think it's most people's comfort food, but unfortunately I got a bit of uh, diabetes out of it because I didn't look after myself. And I eat very, very little chocolate now. So uh, there you go. It's not my comfort food anymore. I love a kebab as well, but that's not, we can't count as comfort food. What do you wear when you're feeling your very best and why? I wear, uh, especially at home, I wear uh, shorts, a t-shirt and a pair of flip-flops. And uh, I don't feel restricted by my clothes, so that is great. Uh, what's the best meal I've ever had? Uh, the best meal I've ever had? It's a hard one, no, because I've had... Uh, I've had as my stomach will tell you, I've had some good meals over the years, but uh, I love steak. Steak, I love. Or uh, chicken chasseur and uh, roast potatoes. That's lovely. What's the best meal you've ever cooked for yourself? A good fry up. That's what I love for myself. So that's uh, one thing there. That's, uh, everyone loves a good fry up, I think, but it's bad for you, but I love it as well. What do you love about most about your home? I love uh, relaxing and uh, just going home at night and uh, just the safety safety mechanism of, of it and just the, the, the homely feeling which is great and, and uh, you can't you can't beat that it's your it's your little safe place and hopefully safe place for people that are listening today unfortunately it's not for a lot of people but hopefully it is what's a yearbook style sup superlative you give yourself in high school a high school self uh, should have done better i'd say like a lot of people out there unfortunately a bit of a dreamer looking out the window when i should have been listening during my lessons at school and uh, but it is what it is you can't go back but uh, that was it if it uh, could do better and what's your current self uh, have a bit more confidence in yourself and uh, realize that you can do a lot of things that you keep putting into your mind that you can't do but uh, when it comes down to it if you're put into a position you'll do it and uh, that's for a lot of people out there we 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 don't do things because uh, we put ourselves off and the mind is an amazing thing, what it can do. What gives you goosebumps? Well, anyone that knows me loves uh, know I love the paranormal. Anything paranormal I'll watch. And uh, as I said, I love, I don't know, I get a buzz out of being frightened as such. Uh, not when I'm turning off the lights at night and going up to bed. Because the, the mind goes, uh, do lally and you're thinking there's someone standing behind you. But there's not, but I, I love uh, that giving me goosebumps now. Or a good soccer match, especially if QPR are playing, I get goosebumps with, with pride and stuff, you know. Uh, do you know your astrology sign? I do, which is Gemini. And how about your birth chart? I would not have a clue. I don't know anything like that. Uh, 
that with a lot of people out there today listening to the show uh, would know something about it and check that out. These are just questions that uh, for mindfulness that you can say to each other if we're listening today and just, it's like a quiz, but it's a nice quiz, a nice relaxing quiz. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't have tattoos. I don't, I can't. It's not that I can't see the meaning of it, but I, I just couldn't go through it. Maybe I'm a bit of a, a baby and I wouldn't want a, a needle going into my hand and uh, uh, maybe not. You know, men, <laughs> we don't uh, work well with pain. Uh, next, would you pick scuba diving or skydiving? Scuba diving, definitely. I no good. I no, no head for heights. Uh, my nephew has skydived over two hundred times, and he wanted me to do it, and I said no. No way am I doing it. I am just keeping my legs on 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 ground, and I'm not going skydiving. I'd rather scuba dive, but I'm not too fond of the water either. But that's one way to at least run the Earth's uh, surface when that happens, you, if something happens. You. What's your most, what are you most grateful for in this season of life? I'm uh, most grateful for my family, uh, my wife's family, my parents, my friends, people I've met o- over the years, and the memories I have. So that's the most grateful for season of my life, which I'm in my 60s now. So there you go, I'm getting old. Uh, do you give back or volunteer with any organisations? I volunteer with uh, Limerick City Community Radio, which I'm speaking to you on now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't give back much. don't have much time to do it, but maybe in my retirement years, if I ever see him, I will try and do something and give back, volunteer in other places as well. But I love volunteering for the, the radio station, and uh, I hope uh, you enjoy my shows that are on, and especially today, because I'm, I'm uh, winging it myself. Uh what you look for and need for in friendships? Uh, compa- uh, companionship and someone that's always there that has your back. And luckily over the years, I've met a lot, a lot of people like that. And uh, I, currently as well, the people I work with. And also my family at home and uh, friendships. I've been a lucky, very, very lucky over the years with the friends I've had over the years. And I, I couldn't uh, uh, praise them any higher. How do you feel about that your best offer love and support to your friends how do you feel that you best offer love and support your friends uh always a good ear for listening to people and trying to help them with their problems uh, as i say a uh, uh, problem have a uh, problem uh, shared as a problem halved and uh, things like that so that's 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 good there so that's one anyone with problems don't keep it yourself i was uh, trying to speak it out to someone and uh it'll always You'll always get a hand, a hand with it, you know. Tell me about your childhood, childhood best friend. Well, I had many, many best friends. There was uh, 16 best friends when I grew up with, and uh, unfortunately, two of them are not with us anymore. They're, they're gone to God. And, uh, but I had 16 best friends when I was growing up, and uh, they, they, were, they were brilliant. They're brilliant. Great, great upbringing and uh, great times living in Seoul Hill. When do you feel most authentically yourself? Well, authentically ourselves, I suppose we relax at home, so that's when we mostly feel authentically ourse- ourselves. Uh, sometimes we get nervous when we're around people that we don't know, and uh, sometimes that's, I suppose, that's where I feel most uh, authentic uh, myself. Plus in my work, workplace at the moment, because of a good bunch of lads here as well. What's one form of self-expression you've been too hesitant to explore? Uh, self-expression, I suppose, Confidence boys, being able to do things and uh, uh, not usually standing at the back of the crowd, not coming to the front of the crowd, and uh, not, not uh, as as Irish people, we're not too fond of praise. When people praise us, we go the other way, and kind of uh, you know, so a bit bit more that taking praise when it's there and not feeling embarrassed by it, and uh, if someone praises you or someone does something for you, you know, kind of that small bit of uh, sometimes you can't be independent all your life, so. That would be good. That would be one thing I'd, I'd like to work out for myself. Uh, what's one habit that you want to get rid of and one habit that you want to keep? Uh, one habit I want to get rid of is probably overheating. Overeating. Overheating. Overeating. Of course, we're all uh, guilty of that. And uh, that's probably my worst bad habit. I don't drink much anymore. Never smoked and anything. Uh, so that's one habit I need to get uh, rid of. And one habit you want to keep, uh, one habit I suppose of, of being able to speak to people and, and make people uh, 
feel okay and they're themselves and relaxed and uh, that's uh, what you call that a habit. Uh, I suppose a bit, bit conscientious as well. I'm probably very conscientious of things. Uh, I suppose a habit of trying to get always going to work maybe quarter of an hour before my starting time and things, but that's just my working life and being used to uh, working in different situations. And uh, that's it. If you were to perform a duet with a famous musician, who would it be and why? Well, my favourite uh, musician, well, I had two, but unfortunately one's gone to God now, Brad Derrick of Boston. So my favourite musician or singer as uh, would be uh, Steve Perry, uh, formerly of Johnny. And who would it be and why? Because he's my favourite singer. And he's also uh, probably one of the best rock singers of all time, in my opinion. And uh, he had a voice to, to uh, anyone that listens out there. He had just one fantastic voice, uh, Steve Perry or Johnny. And... A lot of people know Johnny Don't Stop Believing is so, but Johnny have a lot of fantastic songs out there, not only that one. So if you ever go on YouTube, just listen to him, he's some brilliant songs out and uh, Johnny has said have some brilliant songs out as well. Uh, what's the one thing you would tell yourself at my age? Uh, what's the one thing you would tell yourself at my age? I don't know. Uh, be more confident. Be more confident, get more, uh, take the plunge at times, grasp the nettle and, and don't be thinking about it, overthinking it and just do it and it'll work out. Uh, no matter what you're doing, DIY, chores, whatever, if you're thinking of coming on a radio station, Limerick City Community Radio, just do it. Do it and you'll, you'll find that it's not as hard as everyone thinks it is. What's one thing your younger self would tell you? Uh, cop yourself on and listen more in school. That's what uh, I would, I would, uh, and try and be a footballer or a rugby player. Stay at the rugby a bit longer than I did. Unfortunately, I left it at a young age and started working. But I, I'm, that's one of, uh, that's one of the things that uh, uh, my my greatest regrets. What do you wish you'd have known before having kids? I suppose I don't know really. I think us men are kind of a bit stupid. I think uh, that's why we get married because the women. But the brains of the family. Uh, I don't really know there uh, before having kids. What wish? What do you wish you'd known before having kids? Maybe to be a better parent. Maybe to be more relaxed. You know, especially with your first child, you're you're, you're waking all the time. You know, tipping them to see they're waking. But that's there's nothing nothing wrong with that. You know, but uh, that's that's it. You know, it's just uh, don't really know what to answer that one now before having kids. Uh, my wife will probably tell you, but uh, not me. What's the first big purchase you made as an adult? Uh, my first big purchase as an adult was buying our first house in Mary Street in Limerick City. That was off my first big uh, purchase at the time. Uh, it was, uh, and when you look back now and, and look what people are paying for the mortgages now, ours was ridiculously, but it was like a, bit, a thing hanging around my neck. We paid 15000 for our first house. Back in 1990, I think it was. And that's not too far back. And that felt like uh, something hanging around your neck, a mortgage like that and, and things like that. But compared to now, that was nothing. So that, that was the biggest, uh, probably the biggest uh, thing we ever, of course, we bought a, a second-hand car as well, but the house was the main thing. We always wanted to try and get a house. Uh, I don't know. Them days you could. You could. You were lucky enough to be born at the right time that you could go. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's just amazing how the what people can't young kids can't get on the hose now. How did you know when you fell in love? I don't know. I suppose it's when I met Paula first, and uh, we couldn't really do without her. When when you did meet during the week, you missed. You were on the phone and uh, things like that. So you know, I suppose it's different for everyone. But that's when I know when you can't do without the person. I suppose you know, and you depend on the person. The person's your best friend. That's when you know. You know, it's not only your wife, but it's your best friend as well. Uh, another question. Have you kept any memorabilia from your childhood? I've kept a few things, a few QPR scarves, unfortunately, uh, the end of my life, and uh, a couple of programs. Uh, unfortunately, if I had my days back, I was, my mother and father were very good. They used to buy me the corgi cars, the small corgi cars now, and if I had to keep them in my bo uh, box and not play with them, I'd be a millionaire now because all these things uh, went up in money there a couple of years ago, all these corgi cars and everything. And the older the world, the better. And uh, good memories to have as well. I played with them and uh, didn't hold them away. But unfortunately, 
if I had my time back, <laughs> I would, you know, so uh, that's it. What do you miss about being a child or a teenager? Uh, the freedom when we were younger, the freedom, the good times, uh, no worries, no bills, no nothing. We talk because we had to do our homework with worries and uh, no bills, no nothing like that. You know, the freedom we had when we were younger, unfortunately, the kids haven't got it now. You know, we could cycle out during the summer most of our time. The 16 of us from Soul Hill used to spend a lot of our time out in Locker. It's 12 to 13 miles out. There was less cars on the road them days. And we'd cycle out and cycle in and brilliant, brilliant summers. Plus the weather was a lot better back on them days as well. So they're, they're the kind of things I, I miss. You often go back in your mind, you get older and you'd love to go back for a day. Were things better back then? days? Probably not because no one had any money. Uh, everyone was like... That's what your neighbours were great back then. Days you'd put two short sugar, you'd put your, you'd go in next door and you get sugar, milk, vice versa, and things like that. So that's uh, that's some of the things you would miss, as, as especially now because uh, times have changed. What about the current world? It would be most surprising to your younger self. Uh, computers. The amount of channels we have, no? Thousands of channels on your TV. You're spoiled for choice. Where we're only two. Remote controls is a big thing because uh, the youngest in the family used to have to turn the telly over. We'd only two chances at the time and you'd have to press the buttons to turn them over. And uh, surprising, I suppose, I suppose it's the internet as well. The internet, some good, some bad. Unfortunately, with the people can't get away from things now. At least nowadays, if you were getting bullied at school, you could go home and uh, sit at home and forget about it and clear your head. And then the following day, things would always work out better. No, they can bully you in your own home through social media and stuff. So that's one of the big things that uh, surprises me today and how much of it goes on. Did you think people would have copped themselves on, uh, kids and aunts, adults cop themselves on and moved on a bit and uh, grow up, you know, because it's not a nice thing to be doing to people. Uh, if you could travel back in time, which part of your life would you go back to? I'd go back to the 80s, the early 80s. The excitement there, uh, it was only going up with Paul at the time and the excitement going in every Saturday night going out and we had plenty of pubs to go to, the Pink Elephant, uh, the Central was our big one. Uh, or Farrell's across the way from it, they were all gone now unfortunately and uh, they were great pubs, great times and everyone knew everyone back then, this. everyone knew everyone. The Pink Elephant was massive, could have 500 people in it but you know everyone and uh, uh, it was great. Uh, who did you vote for in past elections and why? I voted for Willie O'Dea because he has done a lot for, for Paul and myself over the years. We had a very sick child when we were, when uh, 23 years ago, no, she would have been 23, no, she was uh, still here. And uh, he was the only one who would do anything for her. We couldn't get a medical card for her at the start. And uh, I went out to him on a Saturday with uh, the, the letter they sent back and also the details of Nicole's uh, sickness and uh, disablement. And uh, we got a phone call at nine o'clock that Monday that we had it. So, uh, Willie O'Dea. We've gone to him a few times after as well for that. And uh, I have to say, a lot of people wouldn't agree with me now, but uh, to me, Willie O'Dea is probably one of the best ever to come out of Limerick. But that's just my opinion. Uh, what's your f some of your favourite memories about your parents? Christmas. Christmas time. And uh, the Christmas dinner was the big thing in our house because my mother... She needed to put the turkey on too early or too late, and uh, if there was any bit of red on the turkey, she'd have it gone off the table again and back into the oven. There were great times. Uh, she, the only time of the year, one day of the year, that she'd drink, she'd have her uh, Baileys, and she'd be half canned uh, doing the dinner. And uh, of course, we'd all sit around the table. Back then, there's a lot of you, you had to sit around the table because you, there was no thing of going in, sitting room and eating off your lap. That wasn't done. The done thing, and you'd have a chat and things like that, and. Music, uh, Christmas songs going on about in, in the background, like uh, Boney M, Mary's Boys, and all that. They're the, they're the memories I think of my parents. Not when they were sick in their life, but they're the good memories. And all keep the good memories in. Don't think of the bad memories and the smiling and things and enjoying themselves. And uh, that's one of the things there. I know other people would have different memories of their parents, good or bad, but they're, they're the memories I would have. And uh, of course, Christmas is still a big thing in our house, and that was given to me by. Well, both sets of parents, our in-laws as well, they were, they were the same with Paula. She has great memories as well. 
If you could have one cartoon character to be your real life best friend, who would you choose and why? A uh, cartoon character. Uh, I don't know. Bugs Bunny. I suppose <laughs> Bugs Bunny. And uh, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know. He was one of the wings, uh, cartoon characters. Uh, Mr. Magoo was another when I used to find him very funny. Uh, years ago, when I, many many moons ago, when I did uh, look at look at him, maybe I should start looking at him again because uh, the child is always in 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 your mind, and uh, that's that's it. Uh, what's my earliest memory? That's a tough one. Oh, that's a tough one. I can't really. I suppose going to school in England and stuff. We were born and uh, going to QPR match for my first time, and unfortunately, then started supporting them after that. Uh, that that would probably be. One of my biggest memories. What did you love most about school? Uh, every Friday, we'd, uh, we'd go out and play the class next door to us in the primary school every Friday because we'd have all our work done and everything. And uh, that was one of the greatest, greatest days. We'd have a match for an hour and a half out in the yard. And that was, that, was, that was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Who are your best friends? Well, my best friends, firstly, are my family. And secondly, all my friends, workmates, friends I know for years, so I can't, too many to name, but uh, I'm lucky, I've been lucky going through life to, that I had a lot of good friends and uh, I can't complain in that department, so that is brilliant. You can ask yourself who are your best friends as well. And next up, what's your favourite season? Uh, I'm a bit, bit weird here, my favourite season is autumn, I don't know why. I always think of America and things like that, shows I've watched when I was younger in America and the leaves falling down on the things and trying to visit these places. Unfortunately, I still haven't got there, but maybe before I kick the bucket, I will get there someday. Think about it yourselves, what, what, what's your favourite season? A lot of people would say summer or spring. I suppose spring will be one as well, yeah, because uh, everything's growing. What superpower do you wish you had? Uh, to fly, like Superman. Be handy. You wouldn't have to pay for planes anyway, you could just fly over and, on your holidays and everything and be scooted around and go up in the sky and things like that. The question here, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> I've, I've grown up, uh, I would have loved to have been a, a, a footballer or a rugby player. Probably wouldn't have been good enough to have gone on to do a professional league, but I uh, would have just loved to have, to have kept at the rugby. I kept it this football. We were all great uh, footballers out in the alleys, but unfortunately, when it came to playing matches and things, confidence wise, it would knock you. But uh, two of those, I would have, and I do also would have loved to have been a, an archaeologist as well. I was into uh, uh, dinosaurs and everything when I was younger and things like that. But uh, of course, didn't listen in school and decided uh, uh, it's it's. Uh, for all any any young people working uh, living out there or listening. Uh, Try and listen to school and try and do better better yourself. Uh, what does alone time look like for you? Alone time for me is probably in the mornings when I get up earlier when it, before anyone gets up and I watch anything that I've recorded, uh, especially the paranormal things, and I sit down for the hour or whatever and just enjoy the quietness. Just love it. Just a bit of peace and quiet. It's great for the, the brain. And it's also great to get you ready for your walking day as well. Just have my breakfast and a cup of tea and watch whatever's on, whatever I have downloaded. Uh, what do I prefer, dogs or cats or rabbits? Uh, dogs. I always like dogs. I was a soft spot for, for dogs. Uh, nothing but wrong with cats or rabbits either. We had, we had both of them as well when I was growing up. But uh, that's, that's it, you know, so, uh, so that's, that's it. So... Unfortunately, that's the half an hour is after flying. I uh, hope you enjoyed some of the questions uh, there. I was flying a solo today. Unfortunately, John couldn't make it, and uh, he sends his apologies. I would just love to thank St Mary's Adult Education Centre for uh, having me babbling on for the last half an hour, and also Limerick City Community Radio, who gives us uh, the voice to speak to everybody out there. If there's anyone listening, I hope we haven't uh, bored people for the last half an hour. But there's some interesting questions there you can talk to your partner about, or even in your own mind and see what, what you think yourself. We'll be back again in two weeks. Hopefully the microphones uh, will be working better and uh, have a great rest of your Sunday. And God bless and keep listening to Limerick City Community Radio.